Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where y'all watch the best in the business. <laughs> y'all really thought because I lost my champ, my gold, I wasn't gonna show up and talk my junk? Well, you guys are crazy. Y'all always been crazy. Y'all never supported me. And it's a shame. It's a shame I never had fans. <laughs> no, it's not, because I never wanted fans. I didn't want any of y'all. I never wanted any of y'all. Y'all are watching me. So, last Friday Night Smackdown. I'm lost for words. I mean, JR, you always find a way to blow my mind. You know, I was furious. Very furious on Friday Night Smackdown. I confronted Chip's arrow. I had him speechless. And you know what happens? JR comes. He beats the mess out of me. And he runs. He runs. <laughs> he didn't even give me an opportunity to beat him up. But I swear to you, JR, <laughs> once I get my hands on you, I'm going to make you bleed. You hear me? <laughs> Pass that. JR, you were gone for so long. And I really don't blame you. I mean, you lost everything you had. Your moves were just not it. You weren't it as a character. And now you come back with all this dark, dark, dark. And you still think you're it? Well, you're not. I swear, once I get my hands on you, I'm going to show you why I'm the best in the business. Last Friday Night Smackdown, seeing Chance with the heavyweight title and the cruiserweight title on his shoulders... I'm not gonna lie, it hurt. Because at one point, I had those titles. And I won't lie, my reign with it didn't last long, but I was your first ever double champ. And then another thing, JR, you remember when I beat you? I beat you for that heavyweight champ after you held it for so long. What was it, a year and a couple of days? Did you even make it a year? I don't care. <laughs> You know, having the heavyweight title on my shoulder, I felt like I was invincible. I felt like nobody could touch me, and nobody did. Every title I defended it with, the only person that was able to actually beat me is Chance Arrow. And he didn't even beat me fair. But can we just take a moment to remember my past, to remember me as your WWE heavyweight champ when I beat JR? It's crazy. It's very crazy that I have no gold on my shoulders. It's very crazy that even with no title, I'm still showing up to shows. I'm like JR. JR, once you left, you you never came back. And now you come back with all this dark gimmick, you beat people up and you leave? If I could say the word that's in my head right now, I would, but I'm not. <laughs> It's crazy. If you compare me to JR, I was always better from day one. If you look back and back and back, I was the one dominating JR. I was the one tapping him out. I was the one pitting him. And that's what made him leave. Poor JR. You know, I pushed you so hard that you have to leave the WWE and come back with a whole new gimmick. I'm going to cut this short. And JR, as I said before, when it's me versus you, whenever it happens, I swear to God, I'm going to make you know it. Chance, when I get my rematch, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you fair. I'm going to pin you. I'm going to submit you. And I promise you that. 